Hi everyone, welcome to this week's video. This week's video I'm going to be talking about noticing how you feel. And noticing how you feel is something that I say all day, every day. Uh, whether it's teaching yoga, or whether it is teaching breathing, or um, during EFT practice with EFT clients. And it's such an important topic if you want to be able to navigate your high sensitivity and also get a hold on your anxieties or stresses. So just building that inner strength against anxiety and stress. So noticing how we feel and being able to label the emotion isn't easy for everybody. And that kind of was really highlighted to me this week. So that's my inspiration really for um, choosing this topic of noticing how we feel. So it's a skill which is learned and it's usually learned quite young. And if we don't get the opportunity to learn it when we were younger, then and practice it as we as we grow up into adolescence and then into adults we it just doesn't develop but the good news is that we can all we can all start learning and that we can all get better and once you do it more and you practice it then it becomes part of your toolkit in helping you manage stress anxiety and high sensitivity so it really helps high sensitives and anybody struggling with anxiety because it gives you information and that information of noticing how you feel as you move throughout the day allows you to make choices about how you want to spend your time what you want to spend your time doing and who you want to spend it with so for example if you can notice your feelings or emotions change when you are with certain people or in certain places or doing certain things and you can use that information to decide if you want to hang out with those people spend your time doing that stuff or or whatever it might be and so noticing how you feel might sound like a bit of a wishy-washy thing that doesn't really make much difference but it really really does and it more you do it the better you get at it and the better you get at it the more of an expert you become and if you can become an expert in your feelings and managing your own feelings and noticing your own emotions then I don't see that as wishy-washy I see that as vitally important for mastering adult life so just give it a go uh, but basically it puts you in the driving seat and if you can notice your feelings change then you can usually catch yourself from kind of catch yourselves before you get caught up in emotions or uh, feelings that are undesirable or not wanted. So just this week I challenge you to give it a go. Um, notice how you feel as you move throughout your day. So really like take a moment, just take a couple of deep breaths and tune in to how you actually feel. Give it a name, give it a, a label. And if you do notice your emotions changing throughout the day, as you interact with different people or go to different places, know that you can, you have the power basically, you have the power to control and decide whether or not you want to feel that way. So if you notice, notice your emotions changing, take a, take a step back, take a deep breath, centre yourself back into where you were before and you know, have that in a dialogue with yourself. Oh, I'm not. I'm not going to choose to feel this way now. I'm actually going to choose to to just be happy and calm, and and just see how that goes. So just give it a go. Practice. Um, keep doing it. And yeah, if you've got any questions, then please get in touch. Um, I'd love to hear from you. And yeah, that's it till next week. See you later. Bye.